Great news, the Yardian irrigation system now is able to be controlled by Home Assistant. So I have one of these and it used to be only controlled through my HomeKit. So I have it here in HomeKit and I can connect it and I can turn on, uh, let's just say the backyard and just turn on a sprinkler valve just like that. And the system is controlled through the app, but I can water my front and yet backyard and everything through HomeKit. But now, They've just released it into Home Assistant. So this is a great sprinkler system. I love it, absolutely super powerful. Love it, love it, love it. So you came here to figure out how to connect it to Home Assistant. So uh, if you go to its uh, settings page, there is a nice page that on Home Assistant, it's under Yardian. Uh, so it's Home Assistant. Uh, integrations and then Yardian and there's rules of how to do it so there's an integration that you can click you click on that you take it to your home assistant and it was like hey do you want to set up your Yardian you say okay so it wants the host and it wants an access token so you get this from the app so now we're on the instruction page on home assistants website and here's a view of what the app looks like so you have your local IP so in this instance, it'd be 192.168.50.67. That is what you would put in the host. And then the access token is whatever your access token is right under there. They did have a fluke where in their 6.19 uh, update right down here was not, um, it took away the access token, which was bad. So I contacted the developer uh, and they put it back in the nearest newest update. So make sure you update your app if this is not available. This is a multi-digital code. So it'll be like A, Z, one, two, three, whatever. You just copy all that and then you put it into this access token section. You hit submit and boom, it works. And boom, it works. So let me just show you what it looks like now. So here I am in Home Assistant and you just go to devices on your Yardian and you can see all my zones. Here's the zone I had on. So here's zone six and there it is in home, home kit. So if I turn that off, this one will turn off also just like that. So now that it's in home assistant, you can completely control and automate almost anything now inside Home Assistant. So this is great. So hopefully that helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.